I'm very interested in more customization options. This is very important. That's a good boy. But first we liberate something. We liberate that family estate. No, 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 no. Oh shit, no, no. How do I jump? I was able to jump before. It was one of these. Just pressing it now. I don't remember how to jump with the with the horse. That doesn't matter. Was enough? No way. Are you telling me you were on full HP and I killed you with one arrow and not even to the head? And I lost all my HP earlier because I tried to fight you with, with my sword. Is that what you're telling me? Is this oh well these are not friendlies know that much now who are you are you Ah, uh, yeah. What's up, guys? Who else? Who else wants some? Ouch! There we go. What happened? We we messed something up, right? The guy with the spear. They are the worst ones. Unless you fight... Unless you fight them alone. If you can't fight them alone... Then I always have problems. What's up? I don't know how you survived Komoda, my lord. I'm glad you did. What's up? Did I did I just liberate you? No. My lord. Yeah. Who else? 
Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Lord Sakai, I think I saw Lady Masako riding for the beach at Komoda. Her husband died there, and her sons. I hear Mongols still hold the beach. I worry for her safety. I worry more for what she'll do to them. But you're right. I shouldn't leave her alone. Okay, but that's all the way up in the north. I'm trying to go south. Is nobody gonna say anything? Like, I just rescued you all, you know? The least you could say is thank you. Sashimono banners. Okay, nobody said thank you. It's not even a point of interest in, in the world. All right. Let's go to that uh, that place. I guess it is right here. Yeah, that has to be it. Rushing water crossing, Mongol territory. This thing has a leader. This place has a leader. And you know what I'm thinking? Like, uh, our sword fighting has been pretty spot on today. I am thinking we do it the samurai way. We roll up and we say, face me, cowards. Bonus, kill an enemy with a sticky bomb. Hello, bear. There's two bears here. Yo, that one bear just fucked people up. I have a bonus for killing somebody with a sticky bomb. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Are you the leader here? Nope, I guess not. Did you just duck my arrow? My arrow doesn't do shit! 
Did you see that? It just bounces off of his armor. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this big guy? What you doing? What are you doing? Is that gonna kill you? It pretty much killed him. <laughs> the sticky bomb. It's a little OP maybe, huh? Just a tad OP. This is not the artifact. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, we need to take out enemy encampments more often. They have lots and lots of goodies. A lot of provisions. Yo, uh, my, my upgrades, they use up a lot of, of provisions. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is the Rebel Alliance. And judging from how hard my controller is vibrating right now, there is an artifact in there. It's gotta be. <laughs> Mongol artifacts. Mongol plans. Mongol leaders craft detailed plans on how to infiltrate enemy territory and gather first-hand knowledge of defensive systems, roads, crops, water supplies and more. They also send spies to plant dissen d dissension among enemy warlords and, and employ propaganda designed to convince the local population that the Mongols are liberators of the poor. Yeah, yeah. Make them look good. Make the Japanese look bad. One half the war. Rushing water crossing complete. And we are moving on to the next, I, I guess. What happened? Oh, one armor. Okay. That's gotta be for the samurai clan armor. I'm not going back there yet. I think we go check out this one. And I don't know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to make our way over to the mythic tale. Hmm. Mm hmm. Our ultimate goal is to go south, right? But. 
We are not really getting very far. Especially if we continue to be distracted by anything and everything. But we should be, right? I'm glad that we are. Because that means they built an, a very interesting game world here. Interesting side quests. All around fun. Good horse. Now let's go. There is there, there should be a road up ahead. If we are going the right direction. I'm right here. And there are also some enemies. Almost a little too late. Yo, these guys are, are difficult. Look at that guy with the shield! I don't know what that fucking attack was right there. What the hell did you do? I could not block that one. I'm fucked! I'm fucked! I'm stuck! You mother... I can still move. No, not really. The game. Cactus. We got cut. I actually thought about just throwing a sticky bomb or, or a kunai and or or just grabbing my bow and shooting him in the head. I did not want to do it. Because I thought well, we can defeat that guy without cheating. Yeah. Well did not work. Did not work out. <laughs> but we have to learn... We have to learn... How to fight these guys. So it's all good. No! No, 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 no. Who the fuck are you? Hell are you dudes? Now hold on there a second, Johnny. What the fuck? That sticky bomb didn't hit nobody.
Who were these guys? Who were these guys? We've never seen guys like these before. They were all super armored up. And did you see how fast that guy was uh, shooting arrows? Huh. We almost had him. I don't know why my sticky bomb did not actually hit anybody. Maybe the harder the enemies are, the, the less likely it is for the sticky bomb to hit them. I mean, it would kind of make sense because it is kind of easy mode, isn't it? When you can just sticky bomb everybody. an enemy encampment oh you're not telling me okay we should find out huh fallen outpost all right that sounds like enemy you lack an item necessary to complete this shrine climb Okay, then we go liberate the fallen outpost, huh? if we can't do this one, we do the other one. It's a lot of peeps, that is a lot of people. And for this one. We might, we might want to put on some armor for that one. Bonus, kill an enemy using a perfect parry. Find and observe the Mongol leader. How do I find and observe him? Oh, this is not this, this guy's not alive, all right? No. Did you not see me? Oopsie. Somebody's shooting me. Oh, you're up there. You didn't see me from before? I am confused, bro. doing an unblockable attack and I try to block twice. Open for business? We just got an achievement there, but well, I'm not saying no. So we have to kill somebody with a perfect uh, parry. <coughs> Sorry. And we need to 
find and observe the enemy lead. Don't really know how that how to do. Somebody's still fighting here, no? Oh, you see me? You see me? There is the enemy leader! I found him! Now, how do I observe him? <laughs> oh shit. I'm not gonna get any bonuses, man. I, do, I can't kill this one with a perfect parry, no, parry now, can I? to do an unblockable attack? Oh, you sucker. Is there a way for me to sneak in? Uh... Yep. Yep. Because I thought there's no way that I can observe the enemy later. Like that. There he is. I found him. Oh my god, I, I could... I almost could assassinate him. Yo, bro, I can't see. I killed your leader. I killed your leader. Who's next? There should be a bunch of archers still left, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was moving. Can I not shoot you because you have a helmet on? Shot him in the face. So on this one, I can't get a perfect parry because he has a, a spear. But the other one, 
Oh my god, he is a shield dude. He is a shield. No way! No way are you doing this! Motherfucker tried to call for reinforcements. No, 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 no. This is not how we do things. Although in hindsight, we probably should have let him call for reinforcements. Because we don't have that perfect parry kill. That we need it. Unless we already liberated this one. We already liberated it. Well, fuck. And I don't even know if we got any of the bonuses. We might not have gotten any bonuses. That's too bad. That's too bad. <gasps> that means though we can slip back into our comfortable clothes, right? Yeah, bird, I still see you. I'm not quite sure what you're trying to tell me. Are you just showing me that this is a point of interest? Or are you telling me that there is something else hidden right here? Ugh! Oh, God damn! It's very uncomfortable today. Sorry about that. We have to move around a little bit more. <laughs> hey, Salty. How are you doing? What's up? What's up? Are, are you playing this one? Are you interested in it? Because in, in case you are on the fence, I can wholeheartedly recommend this. Okay, this has caught me pretty off guard, I have to say. But it's quite unbelievable. It's a very cinematic experience, so if, if you like you know those those old martial arts movies like Hero, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. House of Flying Daggers, there's a, there's a lot, you know, and I realize those are all Chinese movies and we are playing a Japanese game, so it's probably not the best way to compare these. But I think the style is very, very similar. And I love it. And I love it. PS4 is not running the best. <laughs> you need a new controller. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of my controllers is... Uh, battery is pretty dead there too. But the other one still works, you know? For more than like an hour. So that, that's a good thing. Yo, the bird is telling us to go somewhere else. We have to, we have to follow it, find out what's going on down there. Everybody else is saying it's great. Yeah, I have not uh, read any reviews, I haven't seen anybody else play it. I didn't even read anything about this game before it released and I didn't watch any trailers, nothing like that. I wanted to keep 
keep it as pure as possible. But man, I was blown away. I did not expect this at all. Not at all. Are those bad guys? Those are Come bad guys. Fight. Oh, those are bad guys! Ooh. Yo, these guys That's fucked me up last time. Two archers here. Ow! Oh my god! What are you doing, shield man? That hurt? That did not even kill you. What happened to the weather? Ouch, ouch! Oh my god. Poking me. We did it. We did it. You know why we survived this fight? Because we insta killed the heavy shield guy. That guy killed us last time, but this time we insta-killed him. <laughs> oh, I might have cheesed it a little bit, but it's okay. That's alright. Reminds you of Witcher? It, it does, in a way. Yeah, so every time I see like a question mark on the map, you know, and... and I set my marker down, I set out to go over there and to find out what it is. I have, I have this Witcher 3 feeling as well. The, the rest of it is not really any similar. But exploring the open world, it, it definitely has a, a similar feel to it, yeah. Gameplay-wise, it reminds me most of uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Like the, the way the combat goes, you know, you can kind of like insta-kill some of the easier mobs. It's not... You know, they don't have that much health, so a couple of hits and they go down. And we had one or two boss fights already, so kind of, kind of similar in that way. I'm not sure how similar, you know, the the Dark Souls games are to that. I've never played them. Only watched other people play it. But I definitely like the the world, the the whole lore. And it's just a lot of fun. We've barely seen anything here. This is day two, we're, we're like 10 hours in. And we've barely explored the first island. And yeah, story-wise we haven't done anything. <laughs> We're just going after the question marks. Oh, there. 
destiny kills them. I used to go through one every like four months. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of controllers. That's a lot of controllers. No, dude. I still have my two original ones that I that I had ever since I bought my PlayStation. But they don't break. Uh, but of course, I'm not playing all that much on controller or on the PlayStation. I only play these exclusive games. But yeah, I think the one controller is the, is pretty fucked in terms of battery life because I use it as my remote control a lot. I watch TV or Twitch. These are not friendly dudes. What did you do? Did you kill a horse? What is that? Oh my god, this is a heavy shield guy as well. Two heavy shield guys. Oh no, 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 no. Don't even have a sticky bomb, but that would be kind of cheesy anyway. If I come from this side, we can probably take one out immediately. Who will fight? And we still have to figure out how to kill the other one. <laughs> I'll be fine here, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I am not sure about that. Almost mistimed that. What happened? Mongol eagles. The Mongols have an eye in the sky. If their eagle sees you, it will alert nearby enemies. Uh, yeah, I think we alerted the enemies already. Huh? I think so. Am I fine? Yo, I am not so sure if I'm fine. Whoa! Oh, where are you? Alright, shield dude! What is going on? How do I kill you, huh? I have never figured that one out yet. Hey, I changed stance. Okay, 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 he's pretty much dead. We need to do that the exact same thing again. Okay, they're not that difficult then. As long as we can only fight that guy. If we have to fight this guy and some some other dudes as well. Not good, not good. You're going to be all right. <laughs> GG, thank you. <laughs> gotcha, man. Yo, thank you for stopping by, Salty. Appreciate the lurk. 
place to ambush travelers. But not for much longer. There are so many of them. Please be careful, my lord. And yeah, check check it out. Check the game out if you want to. It is it is a good one. And hello, Light. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. So, oh, we have a point of interest in the south. And we kind of did not go to our question mark somewhere else. That's okay. We have to check out that mythic tale today. Okay, let's not forget. We, we are so busy chasing question marks here in this area. But let's not forget to do the big one. Are we still in love with this game? Absolutely. Yes. Yes, we are. And you know what? We're gonna do something very, very foolish and stupid. Are you cowards? I mistimed it! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Now I'm dead. I mean, I was pretty dead anyway. What? Are you... Whoa, 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 whoa! You throwing sticky bombs at me, bro? Who are these guys? Are they good guys? Are you poking me with your spear, huh? Why do you block all my attacks? Oh my god! You're quite annoying, you know that? You are quite annoying, bro. <laughs> Whoa! Look at the blood! It's the first time we took out these guys. But we kind of had some help and I don't even know if those were friendly guys or not. I think I killed one of these, so I hope they were not friendly. Because, uh... We definitely killed one of them, I think. So maybe we got some third party help. From some bandits? As uh, funny as that sounds, I think that's what happened right there. Oh well. I don't mind. Don't mind. How are you doing today, Lind? If you're having a good day, what on this? Feels kind of wrong trying to get the the perfect photo of uh, this scene right here, right? That does feel kind of wrong. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Can we cut him down? I'm sorry, dudes. I'm sorry. Nice warning, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're back home now? Struggling with luggage. <laughs> Unpack, throw it all into the washing machine. You dealt with the luggage for now. I hope you had a nice holiday, Don. Hope it was a good one. Even if that means that you have to go back to work now. Oh! Have we been to this one? Oh, Foxy, I found this one without your help. Yeah, without your help. But you're still a good boy. Poor girl. <laughs> we'll see that on Monday. <laughs> Monday, one hour after work starts, and you will be like, God damn it. I hate it. Yeah, this was very cute, right? The, the foxy. Very cute. All right, I, I think we will want to check out that mythic tale. That could be super super difficult or not there's a musician in komatsu telling the tale of shigenori's heavenly strike i thought that katana technique was a myth but maybe i should hear him out so a katana technique that we thought was a myth that's probably a good thing to learn could be very useful and the other reward we will get is another sword kit. We need we need this. We need this. Oh, but we also need to get out of here. Can we do that? Can we jump down? That is kinda high, isn't it? I'm sorry, horse. I don't know how you got here, and I don't know how you will come out. But it will work out, you know? I'll run a little bit, and now I'll call you again. Here. See? Magic! Magic. More enemies. Well, you are just some simple foot soldiers, aren't you? Oh! Simple foot soldiers, my ass? The hell did you just do? just killed a group of super armored super advanced fighters and now we die to these dudes 
grunts. Just a couple of grunts. I like this though. You really always have to be on your toes. We made some mistakes here and they they killed us. It does not matter that they are the, the easiest enemies in the game. They still killed us. Yeah. <laughs> that was a big rip. That was a big rip. Oh man. I did not expect them to throw us off our horse so easily. Hello, birdie. Okay. Protect me. Well, well. Something's going on here, okay. What, what about this village here? Well, before we talk to you. This does not look so good. This village looks destroyed. It looks very much destroyed. Is this the quest, huh? Do we have to kill the people who did this? I'm down. Alright, talk to me. Talk to me. I will protect you, okay? Dead bodies. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's Heavenly Strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. 